people, Adrian here. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a body laughing. Stop. Okay. I don't know how much better that kind of okay. Hello beautiful people, Adrian here. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a mukbang with Yusef. Say hi Yusef. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? And today we're going to be eating seafood from Charlie Boys. Charlie it's called Boys. Charlie Boys, a uh, food truck. So for black businesses, I got one and a half pound shrimp, crab claw, corn, potatoes. I got the three piece fish with the eight piece of shrimp. I ate a couple of them already, sorry, I was hungry. Now I drink some from McDonald's because they're a dollar. That pay first. Do you have a thought that goes food by the sea? They were just talking about in Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Amen. First question is, how long have we been together? A year and three months. Yeah. Talked for four months before we actually started dating. Yep, I started with my girlfriend. February. With a necklace with my name on it. Mm -hmm. and but she broke. She broke the right. I broke both necklaces, but. You still did. She broke both necklaces. It's okay. I'm going to give her something real close. No, I broke guy. You said what the necklace meaning was, but she didn't give it to me. Oh, basically, you know. Give her something that's saying I don't own her, but I'm entering it because like people like to give people nexus with their name on it. Like I would give them ne give her nexus says use it on it, but I don't own her. She's not my my possession. She's a woman I want to be with. You know what I'm saying? So I give her nexus with her name on it, empowering her. You know. So yeah. I gave her my hug. <laughs> she did give me a hug. I love it. Next question is who's the oldest? I am the oldest. Done 21 years old. I'm 20, he's over by nine months. Mm -hmm. Oh, where was our first date? The thrift store. I took it to the thrift store um, and my tire blew up. So, imagine this, that. This has been, it was like a monumental day. Cause originally we were going to meet after class. It was like a Thursday or something, it was a school day, right? Mm -hmm. His RA class lasted longer, so the time got pushed back. Got together and like this is like our first time like alone together for like a long period of time and we can just be like you know like we're like we're going on a date but you know so it was like pretty cool and then we get in the car and I started feeling like bumping I'm like I'm just gonna be chill because maybe this is how this car is. I think I was like you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was until he asked that I was like yeah. I, I said too. I think the I think the tire's flat. No, but we were right there by Cajun, it was a Cajun mm -hmm. field, field, and we just pulled in the parking lot, and I called my dad to help me out a little bit, because I remember, but I didn't know what my tools were and stuff, and he helped me to break the limits on the, um, the tire, and she also hurt herself. <laughs> it was freezing cold. It was cold, I, I had three stayed. jackets on. I stood outside, and I was like, I don't want to be that girl that was just sitting in the car. It's just better to just save when I sit in the car. He changed the tire and then his spare tire had a flat as well. And he was like, Do you still want to go to the thrift store? And I was like, No. <laughs> so we actually went to the cab. I was so upset. He was really upset. I got a picture, I'll insert a picture. I took a picture of him changing the tire. I was frustrated. We tried it again and it worked out. Yeah. What do we do in our free time? Well, this. <laughs> this, but also, um, but free time, you know, time outside of working because I mean, I'm a photographer by trade, so I do weddings, events, models. I work, I, I'm an intern for like two model agencies. I'm also, an intern here for athletics. I shoot pictures here. So I'm like all over the place. I shoot grads, do all that. So, and so you said that's not my free time. So, on my free time. What do we do in our free time? We're here in oh, free time. Okay. We watch movies. I'm watching all the Marvel movies in the order that we should watch them. Mm -hmm. That's the way And we also thrift shop. Ah, we like yes. to go to like close, surrounding cities around Lafayette mm -hmm. because the thrift stores in Lafayette suck. Like Scott, we went to Scott, we went to Karen Crow. Karen Crow just got a new Goodwill. Y'all should go there for mm -hmm. Yeah. My hometown is thrifted and then Street Park, but you didn't want to thrift this last time we went to Street Park. It's a whole lot of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much what we do. We either eat, thrift shop, or watch movies mm -hmm. we like action movies. pray we watch sermons mm -hmm. we like the bible plans bible plans yeah she tries to get me to dance i can't dance yeah so for the people who suggested that we do like you know a dance video or something like 
can't dance. Stop asking me to do that. I can't even get him to dance off camera, so. I'm not gonna embarrass myself to myself. I might dance one day. But strolling is a type of dance, so. He does dance. Strolling is like choreography, guys. Come on. Choreography is dance. You, you practice. practice. You practice dance moves. It's different. Just yeah, I should do it on the spot. I can't do it on the spot. I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm just saying, looking at you. He got a mean whoa. It's okay. What's your like being a Greek couple, pros and cons? Pros is like whenever we meet a couple that's similar, like they be hyping it, you know, and it's fun. And, you know, sometimes like double dates happen, stuff like that, you know, at the time. Mm -hmm. We went on a double date, went by one of my, uh, my Neo's house, and his girlfriend was there. She's a Delta, he's an Alpha. And I'm out. She's AK, so you know, it's a little, you know, a little something, something, you know. I said another pro is like we can like talk about like the same thing in terms of like NPAC. Like we'll go to NPAC meetings together, and then we can talk about it. Like when I was in Greek, like I couldn't know what they were talking about. A pro is also like if somebody that's Greek that's like you know try to hit on him, like I'm there. <laughs> so I don't get hit on, guys. <laughs> Stop. It's not really any cons to her, honestly, because like it allows us to be in the same places and not feel like included, even though like we're together and then I crossed like the next month. So it was never really a long time that like he was Greek and I wasn't, other than like while we were talking. But we're doing while we were talking, yeah. And also like we weren't like public, public, like out and about like how we are now. So it really wasn't a problem. What's the hardest obstacle y'all have overcame as a couple? Okay. Um, I'll think about this. I think. Like the distance, like when it's like summertime and not knowing like when we're gonna see each other, we have to like really get something like planned because like he has to get a hotel or like I have to figure out where I'm staying if I go down here. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the biggest obstacle. Or like it was one time like I was home for Christmas break and he was on campus and his car was like not working. He did not have a phone. Oh God. And that was rough. he just had like you, and you didn't have a laptop either. You, that's how it was kind of trash, yeah. Yeah, you you were like on the monitor, right? Yeah, a big one? The yeah. The big desktop, yeah. I have a desktop and a laptop, guys. I'm kind of like a nerd slash, like, tech guy. So that was a struggle. And, like, he had to, like, pull out his, like, old, 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 old iPad and he FaceTime off that. And it barely worked. Like, because it's so old, like, the iOS weren't the same, so... I think the FaceTime just wasn't working. <laughs> like, yeah, it would disconnect a lot. It disconnect. We'll, be, we'll have like a 30 second conversation. It'll we'll be poor connection for a full 20 minutes. Come yeah. back. Right. But, hey, now we're good. Yeah, and then. Or now you're filming on an iPhone that one of my profiles gave me for free. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah. I, I'm an Android guy, so my actual phone is this Android. No, they. <laughs> Told you, Minerva. Last summer, we saw each other like once a month. Also, since like we're in the same organization, we can like go to the same meetings. Mm -hmm. So like city meeting. So we'll know where we'll be in the city at the same time. We had a lot of executive council meetings with all the black organizations, so it kind of worked out because she would always have to be in Lafayette for Ebola mm -hmm. meeting for a sorority or mm -hmm. something like that. So it just kind of worked out for us. So and that's your answer too? Yeah, well, the same thing. This is leading to like missing you a lot, you know, so having to be cautious about everything. So. Especially in COVID, like we didn't know when, when we were going to see each other until like my sister was like, okay, well, he's taking my pictures during this week. And I was like, thanks. It was our first road trip. I, mean, I think I went to your parents' house. First, that was the first thing we ever did. First, yeah, because the other trips are like small, like when we mm -hmm. go thrift shopping. And then, like, we went to BR for our one year. And we did a photo shoot. That was really good. Well, she was our first road trip. And he had a hotel. And then we were going to head back to Lafayette when Hurricane Barry was around. He ended up having to stay in the house for like three days. Oh, it was two extra days, I think. Two extra days? And then we had to like, drive back to Lafayette and... Because I had to be back. I had to be back. We had a meeting. Right? Yeah, we had to be back. You're right. Do we cook? She cooks, and I help <coughs> out. Um, I can't really cook, guys. I might could make a sandwich or something. Um, I might could try to fry an egg or maybe something like that. Maybe do some bacon. We typically, whenever we do cook, we'll cook like salmon or shrimp. Salmon or salmon and shrimp. Mm -hmm. We live in a dorm, so... I don't really like cooking in the kitchen where I know other people have cooked. That's something that feel good. True. It's been a plus having a model girlfriend when you're a BS photographer. Not a model. She asked, she asked me that? Yeah. It's always a plus. It's easy to experiment, but it's a plus during school time because she's here, but you know, it's not a plus when I can't get to her. I think it's a plus too, just because he knows a lot about how cameras work. So like when I'm filming a video, 
you can do the settings and stuff because I don't even know how we doing it. So yeah, photography wise, I'm like behind the scenes helping him. Mm -hmm. Like I like to assist at his photo shoots. Mm -hmm. When we first started dating, he took my pictures a lot with his camera that like, will like go around like the eight. Now I think if he does see my pictures, it'll mostly just be on the iPhone because I want them ASAP. Yep. But I still take some on my camera, so I edit at some point. Who's the most clean? I'm not gonna fake, we're both pretty messy. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the curse of being an artist or being a creative, like, you know where everything is, but sometimes you kind of like just rush in and create stuff. And as a photographer, I put some clothes on and dip, then come back, change clothes again, dip, come back. The clothes be everywhere. Now I don't keep trash. She doesn't keep trash either. But we keep a lot of clothes, we like the thrill. What was the first gift we got each other? Other than the necklaces? Yeah. I think it was the purse I got you. Mm -hmm. First gift, got some friendship chip in. We paid for his parking spot, but he had a parking ticket on top of that. Right. So he couldn't get the parking spot because he had the parking ticket. The first gift I got him when we were like, after started talking, was a suitcase. That's true. Mm -hmm. Zookies, the best, best LC. Okay, I feel like this is a question I've been asked. Why don't we post each other a lot, like on our Instagram feeds and stuff? Well, number one, I'm big on privacy for the most part. I'm not huge on sharing our location, sharing what we're doing all the time because people creeps, you know? But also, I like when we like really do like professional like pictures. I mean, I guess that's my creativity, professionalism showing. My account is pretty much leaning more towards my photography. So because of that, like any pictures of me are most of the time professional pictures, like from a professional camera. Taking my mom off. So yeah, she takes them off, especially the pictures of me. I've had like a few other photographers take pictures of me, but oh, like she takes all of them. And most of the time, if we take pictures on a professional camera, it's like for a large event or like a special time. So yeah. I don't like people knowing, I like the mystery of it. Like you know that we're together, but you don't know what we're doing. Even though I like looking at couple pages and stuff, Eventually down the line, maybe like we'll post more. I get questions all the time, like, how do you do it? Because you know, they think I get approached all the time, too. I'm serious about being in a relationship. I'm serious about monogamy. I don't play about that. So we have mutual trust in each other. So it's easy for me to be like, not look at anybody else. I don't care what you look like. I'm not about to cheat on my girl or lie or do anything stupid. Like, it's a waste of my time. Why would I do that? Why would I be in a relationship if I even had the possibility of doing that? Like, I'm a virgin. So. Because of that, like, I have no reason or at all to touch another person at all other than her, and we aren't touching because we're waiting to get married. So, that's not an everybody thing, I guess. But it should be. You shouldn't be trying to cheat on your old lady. <laughs> okay. You hit a nerve? Yeah. <laughs> this question got asked a lot. How do you be me? We ain't got to go into too much detail just because I feel like we might do this again. But, we can just do a broad i would say we officially met like because we knew of each other but we didn't really talk to each other she was in the same committee as me when i first got in the black student union it was the pr committee right mm -hmm. and the pr committee was so cool we have like potlucks at people's apartments and just sit there and chill play mafia like play some games or whatever and then like just get to know each other throw some ideas around and dip that's when I first met her. She was really quiet. She didn't like to talk to people and stuff like that. She was just kind of sitting here. And I said, she seems cool. She seems really cool, but you know, she don't talk much. So. And then, after I crossed, I decided to be in a pageant. It's called the Vanessa Black Collegiate Pageant. Uh, it's MPHC pageant. And I needed somebody to help me film it and stuff like that. So uh, I hit her up and, what well, did I hit you up or did you hit me up? Or? I'll just pick up where you left off. Okay. So we didn't mean to be a you. Hold on. This is potato. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's the sauce too. It's probably sauce. You know, I don't eat sauce. So. Fun fact, guys, I don't eat sauce. I don't eat condiments. I don't eat mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup. I don't eat hot sauce. So we didn't need BSU, but I'd already seen you so before. Like you said, like I followed him on Twitter. I mentioned in my freshman story time. Check that out. First time I saw you, I didn't know who he was, was at the Welcome to Laughing Party in line. He was standing with his best friend, and I was like right behind him. So that's the first time I actually saw him. And then I started seeing him everywhere on campus. And I saw him on Twitter. And I was like, ooh, we should be friends because he takes pictures and I need my pictures taken so that we can just be best friends. Mm -hmm. I have a camera too. <laughs> Fast forward, he's in the pageant. I was in the pageant as well. And he was in my dorm all the time after he crossed. 
all the time. But that time I had a crush on him. I was in the community room with my close friend and we saw like this drawing of some abs on like a, it was a canvas? Uh -huh. It was a canvas? It was like a big drawing for abs. Yeah, so it's all drawing some abs. I've seen them at okay, a cool places like that. When I'm strolling outside, yes, I take my shirt off. I said, those look like Yusuf's abs. Friend was like, yeah, you do. But it was like, okay, well, that's not Yusuf. Like, that's pretty random. It was just literally in the community room. He was in there. But I already knew he was in the building. And my friend was like, well, she's not my sister. She was like, well, I can start washing my clothes so we can stay down here longer. And I was like, period. So we just chilling in the community room. And Yusuf would come in, speak, they'd be talking. Kids were staring at me. I'm like, she was very intriguing. She's different. So my last sister ended up leaving. I had crossed it. But she ended up leaving and then she kind of told you, oh, well, I'm about to go to insinuate that I was still in there. So eventually he came in there and I was like, because oh, I didn't know what was about to happen. He started explaining what he was doing and like how he was trying to explain. I think he offered. Yeah. He started doing a time lapse and I was like, well, I have a ring light. My camera too. I can help. We stayed in there till... 6, 7 a.m. Cause like his camera would die, so we would charge his camera and use my camera. And then my camera would die, we use his. So it was like back and forth, and I would like start it. And while he would be like drawing, we would just be talking and stuff. I still have those clips. I haven't listened to them yet. <laughs> you had the clips of me talking to you? Yeah, because the clips of you drawing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that two nights in a row, stayed up to 7 a.m. I was exhausted. I was wondering why she would do that, so. You know, eventually I, I started like putting the pieces together that she liked me. I'm very much so not somebody who thinks like I'm anybody special, right? So I don't be thinking that people be interested in me like I wasn't one of those types of guys, right? But I was like, oh, okay. And people start telling me, hey, you, da, 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 da. Yeah, that's pretty much how like we officially, officially met because when we're at BSU, like I honestly would just say hi and bye to him. We never really got into a conversation. I would want to talk to him, but I was also very, very, very scared. And I would just like make up questions to ask him, like, what stories do you go to? Just so we have a little conversation. Yeah, one time I told him we had the thrift. We should thrift. Yeah, so we had like, you know, small encounters, but like, that night was like the real night that like we actually like talked. And he won his pageant, and I won my pageant. I feel like some people are waiting for college, but like it might not be in college. It might be when you get a job somewhere after you graduate, stuff like that. I feel like people have to be very clear about what they want and have to be very, 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 very much to like stand on it, like stand 10 toes down on it. I feel like ladies and guys could do that. If it's not going to be a relationship from the very beginning, you need to communicate it. I mean, from step one, date number one, have that conversation. Communicate, this made me upset. Okay, how small it is. Yeah, I'm not a good communicator, and... I, I'd have to ask her. She would get upset, and I'd be like, you're upset. She would be like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm like, no, you're not. You stop talking. When I'm upset, I just I get silent. It would just be a nice conversation. I'd laugh, and I think I had said something that's funny, and she'd be upset. She'd look forward. <laughs> no, I'm not upset. Yes, you are. What's wrong? What did I do? What did I say? And she'll tell me. I'm like, eventually, she'll tell me. Even if the communication can happen right then, you gotta be there, be willing to say, look, I'm ready to communicate whenever you're ready to communicate. I'm very upset. I need a safety to collect my thoughts because I don't want to sit. <laughs> it got me. I was like, God, <laughs> dog. I need a second to collect my thoughts because, you know, I don't want to say something I don't mean or come off as mean. So I have to, like, think it over. He don't stand there now. Like, he'll wait. Like, yeah, I'll wait sometimes. Like, when you're ready, I'll, <laughs> I'll listen. Wait. Advice I would give is to make sure that whatever like in terms of like problems or anything as long as it's not like something that's like a big problem like you know illegal stuff if it's like internal problems just talking over god and mm -hmm. youtube i think both of us have had instances where like people were people trying are crying. to people yeah are people crying. people want the best for us individually something that he does rubs my friends the wrong way or vice versa. They'll basically- Or completely negative. You know like how they say like, you know, <clears throat> don't tell your friends probably because they won't forgive them, but you will, stuff like that. So just keep it between y'all. I've learned from my mistakes. Shame. Whew. A little bit of advice for the guys here. Still good. I know nobody's special, but I would say the key to a good, healthy relationship outside of communication is observation. What things she always brings up, what things that she kind of hint that she wants. You think I got a list? I got a list. Just simply, just pay attention. It's not about you. It's about 
trying to see where y'all gonna go sometimes. But if you come out with your lady and shit, let's go to JCPenney. And she touched a couple things for a long time. You might want to pay attention to that. You know, it's it's not it's not hard if you pay attention. Sometimes you may have to it may take a little more for you, a little more effort. But just wanted to get that little tip in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause it's a bag. She always touched me since we went out JC Penney. She think I don't remember what it is. She think I don't remember. I don't remember what it is. She ain't gotta remember. I know. Um. Somebody asked what our zodiac signs were. I've been told that I'm Virgo, so I guess. The Virgo. Oh, I didn't know that. Spring. Uh, September 18th. I'm a Cancer. We don't like operate around it at all. <laughs> I don't know how it works. I don't care about it at all. But I know what it is at least. I know what people think it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned some things. Stay tuned for our next video. Yeah. Good? Yeah. I'm doing this. This is great. Drop a little knowledge. You feel me? <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Do that. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. If you have any more questions, maybe we'll do a part two. Ooh, ooh. Walk in some love. God bless. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I ask what you do, show me some love, kisses